First responders from over 20 different agencies made their way to Fedora, South Dakota over the weekend for agriculture rescue training. Kelloland's Carter Schmidt was there today and shows you what they learned. With harvest well underway, or wrapping up for some farmers, it's a timely reminder that accidents on the farm or in the field can happen, and first responders must know how to handle them. I don't know of anybody in South Dakota that know, doesn't know a farmer. We all know one, we all are one, and if we don't have the knowledge to help the guy next to us, the guy we know, what good are we doing as a department? Leroy Ainsley has been a volunteer firefighter with the Fedora Fire Department for 11 years and is also a certified trainer. He says a training like this one has not been in South Dakota for quite a while. Couldn't find anybody that had done it in 22 years. So I decided I would take it upon myself and figure out a way to get it done. Advanced Rescue Solutions out of Indiana is the group that does this training all over the United States. Todd Taylor is an instructor and fire captain from Indianapolis. We went through a classroom this morning talking about the different emergencies and how to handle those emergencies and then we're coming out to the field to do the practical sessions. Which includes multiple stations such as a tractor rollover accident, victims pinned in a corn head, auger and grain bin and cutting the steel of grain bins. Once you get the, the safety part of it down, then getting into the grain bin to do the rescue is very, very difficult. Once we do that, there are several safety measures that have to be put in place so that we don't become a victim ourselves and in order to get the victim out safely. Ainsley says the training is important for these first responders. I'm going to feel more confident on knowing what to do. Fifteen sponsors helped fund the training that Ainsley says costs around $15,000. Without them guys, we wouldn't have this course today. I don't want any fire department to have to pay for this training because it's, we need it. Near Fedora, South Dakota, Carter Schmidt, Kelland News. The training was yesterday and today. They had a classroom portion in the morning and then they went out for more hands-on training at a farm north of Fedora.